Good after morning folks, Mike Wells, Your World Explorer. Today we're going to try to kick off some burl growth on this live oak. Okay, now a few days ago we did a little bit of dotting here where we took our ice pick or our, our pick tool and uh, hammered it in to all these little spots about an inch apart. Well, this tree is actually prime for us to try to produce more burls at different spots so right up in there looks like a good spot that branch there looks like it might be a good one to try a different type of burl experiment where i would cut all of these little branches off of this end and let this end to try to reproduce more branches where down the road i would cut those branches again uh, but at a more premature premature stage um let's see over this way there's this branch right here that i've been studying and uh if we look up further it's got some pretty decent burrow uh opportunity up there so we'll climb the ladder and i'll show you what i'm talking about so if we want to do the dot experiment we'll do it here on this whole chunk right up in here because that looks like a very large repair spot and then we could also do the clipping experiment over here. So what I'm going to try to do going forward is also do the dotting experiment all the way up to that spot on this branch. Because these branches here, if you look at the ends up there, I would love to do the clipping experience up there too. Because those branch ends look like they might be throwing off a whole bunch of new growth. But for me to do that, I'd have to use a very tall ladder. I don't know. We'll see if that's going to happen. Look at that branch, too. I might be able to, to uh, get up to that branch to do some snipping. But for today, right now, anyhow, I'm going to show you how to do it here and how to do it over here. And then I'll go ahead, go ahead and do the rest of this branch and try that end over there. So... Let's get started. Okay, now first we're going to start on this left side over here. I want to cut these little bit of branches off of here and get this side growing more new branches. So once we can stimulate that, we should be in business with uh, producing a burl on this side. Now, mind you, I'm going to try to stimulate burl growth on this entire thing i really want to experiment and get this right because if we can get this right well we've got a very big breakthrough to talk about here where woodworkers across the country will finally understand and and know how to stimulate their own burl growth now i've been successful at this a little bit already with a laurel oak it's the only reason why I'm doing this. So I'll snip this big one. No. Nope. There we go. Now you got to be careful for wasp nests too. If you live in Florida, these live oaks, every now and again you'll run into a, a nasty wasp nest. And uh, they sting so badly, it'll cause. Like for me, it causes swelling. Oh, gosh. They're not usually that difficult. Okay. Now I'm looking at this. It looks like it could produce a pretty nice burrow. It's about seven inches by five inches now. So. We just want to get this thing rolling. Now I'm going to come over here and dot this. I also see some spots over here. I have a lot of branches coming out of them. Maybe I'll snip those up too. Because we just want, we want burl. So if we could get as much burl as possible off the same, same branch, that way if we have to sacrifice it down here later on, we can. And I don't mind sacrificing this branch. It's hanging over my house 
and I always have to trim it from the roof. So this will be a branch I don't mind working on. Here we are. We'll pull some of these branches off. Now all I'm going to do is take, take this little pick here and my hammer and tap into the repair location. One, two, three. So you don't have to do a whole lot, just every inch. You could do a line. I used to do this with nails, but then I realized I had this tool here. Once you feel the actual, once you feel the, uh, the hammer stop, and the, the pick wants to stop going in, you've hit the hardwood. That's all you have to do is penetrate the live, the live edge, pretty much. Some of this bark is going to be pretty thick. So to get, you're going to have to expose that live wood at spots. That's my exposure spot right there. Now, I'm going to go through, do a line right here. I'm going to come on this side and do it almost do like a bunch of triangles is what it looks like I don't know if you can see that one two three four five so yeah you get the idea like a cross grid pattern I'll pull some of this thick bark off of this edge too and get at it over here but you want to try to have that living that living exterior uh, part of the tree you want that exposed for the most part not completely exposed you don't want it to be so exposed that the bugs and stuff start ravaging it then that would be very bad So I'm going to do this for a while and then I can show you guys the finished results. I don't want you to get bored watching me do this. All right, fast forward and you've got some progress. I sat up here for a good 25, 30 minutes poking all these holes in here. You can see through the camium of just underneath the bark the camium is the live living outer layer of the tree that is still growing so you see i put them all about if you see how big my hand is my fingers i put those holes about an inch apart and uh hopefully this works i can't guarantee this is going to work because I've never tested it on a live oak tree. I've tested it on the uh, laurel oak and it seems to be doing extremely well. I can show you that in this video, my last video where I covered how to grow uh, burl wood. Uh, I covered that specific location. You see that though? So hopefully this works. We've damaged the camium enough to where it doesn't cause huge amount of damage to where between these holes is damaged, but just enough damage to get all of that additional growth kicked off. So also, uh, I'm going to be trimming that branch next. I want to show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so here's that laurel oak I was telling you about. We've already been testing this location for several years now probably close to six years I think look at the size of this burl I mean this is amazing I've already been uh, doing all kinds of stuff to this thing so you have to understand what happened here um, this was a cut off many years ago 
That location I haven't even fiddled with, but I'm going to start tinkering with that one because I can clearly see that this is working out very well over here. So that one was, that was a branch that was knocked off by the, one of the uh, backhoes or uh, bobcats, I think it was, that we had on the property when we had to replace the drain field. And then over here, this was just cut, straight cut but it was healing over and I decided to take a hammer and some nails and just smack a bunch of nails in it to see what happened. All of a sudden it blew up like this. So then uh, a couple of years later I did it again and now it's even bigger. Um, this is the second time, those scars right there, but I feel like the nails might be too destructive. So you see how big the whole the damage hole was when I used and did the nails the damage holes they just they're too destructive so I switched over to that pick these are the latest damage holes from this year's uh, hole spree if you will but this tells me that this methodology is working so I just got to keep going with it hopefully the pick is creating enough damage and I haven't uh, shot myself in the foot uh, with changing my methodology by going from the nail to uh, that little pick hopefully but uh, you know going forward we're going to keep doing this to this burl here and we're going to be getting some amazing featuring from the wood you see that featuring in that wood all those uh, spirals and turns and twists and everything that's what we want to accomplish one year in the future I'm hoping maybe like five years from now or ten years from now even I'll be able to take a chainsaw and lop this bad boy off it's already big enough to be able to produce some things with but I want it to get bigger the bigger they get the more exponential um, the growth is in regard to its productivity. You always want to take that into consideration. So if I were to cut this off now, I'd be missing out on a whole bunch more pro product uh, that produces um, exponentially as this thing gets bigger. So there's that one. Also, if you look at some of these other branches, they've got some burls growing on them. That one I want to start tampering with. This whole branch. I want to start tampering with all those. So there's the branch from a different angle. You can see these ones. See how they're growing? They're just doing that on their own right now, but um, they eventually stopped growing because they've healed uh, the branch that was cut off. But if you keep damaging them, they keep growing. But this branch is unique it's got a lot of these I think the squirrels have been messing with them too so that's been helping this whole tree's got like a burl here a burl there it's a really good tree but I really want to tamper with this the laurel oak has a uh, thinner bark so the camium is easier to reach with your pick all right folks I've actually climbed this ladder I'm pretty high up now sticking out so you'll see for instance here this has this spot right here where are we at there 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 all that was growing and it was doing well but this branch came to the forces of nature and died back but over here you see where we trimmed it we cut that branch there all of a sudden you got all this growth shooting out everywhere there there all there all there over here over here over here everywhere we're going to trim that growth off and hopefully get this this branch to do the same thing in the same spots to spread out on that new growth thus producing some really interesting burl so let me get to trimming that right now. So all we got to do 
Let's come in here. Literally just snip these little things off. Whoop. Snip, snip. Don't snip too much. But you pretty do, pretty well do uh, want to snip it down to the very uh, close to the tree. Because it's got to have some new stuff shoot out of here. This is the living spot. This is the camium. So if we went over to here, we're going to snip there. We're going to snip there. Oh, so tough with these little snippers. And we're going to snip there. And that's what that should look like after you're done snipping. I'll snip the rest and show you what they're supposed to look like. Okay, here we are. That right there is what we're looking for. And you can see it. I didn't cut all the way down to the tree. You got to leave something on there. Same thing over here. You got to leave something on there. Same thing there. Same thing here. There's so much growth on here that I wanted to just go ahead and cut above where the cracking was starting because this is a good sign here. This is going to be some marling and some twisting and turning. That's what we want. Um, left that little leaflet there. Something's going to pop out of there. Left this little starter here too. Need that branch to get bigger before I snip it. And then there was a starter coming out of the side of this bigger one, so I went ahead and left it. It's got some nice twistiness going on. Eventually, this will start to throw um, some heel bark out. So basically, the camium will start moving up and out from underneath of this bark here. And it'll heel over this wood. And then we can probably... Uh, pop some holes into there to stimulate some of the uh, the, the burrow growth um, in that secondary way as well. Folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And stay tuned because I want to show you uh, in a year, two, three years from now all the progress we've made on how to create and successfully grow your own burls. Have a great day.